Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Melissa and today I'm gonna meal prep with you. I'm just gonna show you how I meal prep with chicken thighs, which not just any chicken thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. So good. And we're gonna go jump right into it. And if at any point you like it, give me a like. And um, low cal, low carb, and this is what I eat so I can eat what I want for dinner. Okay, so let's just do this. Get yourself a beautiful red onion and chop him up because the first thing we're gonna do is roast our vegetables. So in this meal prep, I used red onions, green beans, string beans, or green beans, whichever way you want to say it, and cherry tomatoes. So I chopped up my red onions like so, and then I got myself a nice, just a baking sheet, cookie sheet, whichever you have. I got that pre-washed microwavable bag of string beans and I just, I did actually give them a rinse. I know I had a little transition there, but I gave them a little rinse and I try to spread them out pretty evenly. Then just sprinkle those red onions all over it. I love cherry tomatoes, but I will tell you what I love even more are roasted cherry tomatoes. I don't know why, but they are just so good. So I grabbed a couple handfuls more and then I went back for a few more because this these calories are so minuscule. Just throw it in there. This is like almost free food, I guess, best way to say it. And then I just try to arrange them on the cookie sheet nice and evenly. And then I grab that same Mediterranean olive oil, garlic infused, any garlic infused olive oil will do, or just olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Drizzle some on there and then you have to season. This time I chose lemon pepper seasoning, so delicious. I like to season a lot. If you don't like a lot, just put a little bit, but honestly, the more, the better. The more flavor, the better. And the more satisfied you'll feel with just having veggies and a protein. Cracked black pepper, again, I use a lot. There I go and go and go. Go ahead and season it up. You have to season your food, especially when you are trying to meal prep and eat a little bit less or lower your calories some kosher salt, and of course, toss it up. And then I just basically grab the tray, I pick it up, and I shake it up just like that. Make sure your oven was preheating during all this. You're gonna preheat it to 400. Roast your veggies in there for about 20 minutes at 400. Now, I've got chicken thighs, but what I used is skinless, boneless chicken thighs. And I cannot believe the flavor that came from this. So much better than chicken breast. Dark meat is just way more flavorful. Flavorful. <laughs> and then, I don't know, I'm missing video here. So you saw the seasonings I used. I used lemon pepper, poultry seasoning. I used a Southern blend and cracked black pepper again. And I seasoned it really good. I wanna say about two tablespoons of each, maybe a tablespoon and a half of each, and then I massage it really well, and I let it sit for about 30 minutes on its own. Make sure it's room temperature before you put it in the pan. Now, I, that's just some regular old olive oil in there. I didn't use the seasoned olive oil like I did for the veggies. And make sure your pan, I would say I'm at about medium here, medium heat, medium high heat, and then you're just gonna get your chicken thighs in there. and. Once you get them assembled the way you want them in the pan, don't mess with them too much because you're going to want to brown them. And you're gonna brown them on each side for about five minutes each side for maximum flavor. Now while that's going, you're going to go grab your ingredients to make your dressing. You're going to need a lemon, some mayo, sour cream, garlic, and some seasoning of choice. I used dill in this particular time, so grab that. Oh look, look how gorgeous that is. Oh my gosh, the flavor from the chicken thighs is so much better than breast. Honestly, I don't even wanna eat chicken breast anymore after having this. Now, I'm gonna check on my veggies here, take them out, give them a little shaky shake, now at this point, I thought they were perfectly cooked for my liking, nice and caramelized, and I took my chicken thighs at this point and then I put them in the oven, but what I did was I dropped the temperature to about 350 and I let them finish off to make sure that they're cooked all the way through for about 10 to 15 minutes in there at 350. You could even leave it at 400, it's fine either way. 
So now I'm gonna get started on my dressing. There we go. So I had about three cloves of garlic and I go ahead and I flatten them out just to kind of release the flavor and then I chop them up nice and small. You do wanna give it a very small chop so that you're not getting big hunks of garlic in your dressing, especially if you're going to work or if you're going to be around people because <laughs> that's not going to be pretty, okay? So then, now if you want, you can put Greek yogurt in this. I just don't want. I like mayo and sour cream mixed together. I think it's delicious. I put three tablespoons of mayo and two tablespoons of sour cream into the bowl. Now, the dressing, all that really matters is how much you use. You know how I am. I'm not about using lesser ingredients to diet. Use the full fat ingredients, just don't overdo it, okay? So add some lemon in there. It gives it a nice bright flavor. I used a half a lemon. I squeezed it in there. I actually, so look, I got smart here. I flipped my hand over so I didn't get the seeds because I had to fish some seeds out. So don't do that. And then I really love this cute little squeezy bottle. I got him and I, it's just so nice because you can kind of have herbs whenever you want. And I don't know, look in your produce section, uh, section of your grocery store that probably will be there. And so I put some dill in there, but anything will do. Parsley, basil, it all tastes good. Some kosher salt, mixy mix and I wish I had this all assembled for you because I lost the part of the video where I actually assembled it. But assembling is easy. Veggies and then you top it with your chicken thighs. Look at that. I mean, come on. Absolutely delicious. And then you can get, I went ahead and I threw the dressing right on top or you can get a little separate bottle and put it in there. And this is how it looks. Like and subscribe. Love you.